Okay, for 3B is another one. Again, we are doing the established identity problems, but you're working with the sum of difference formulas. Now, the last one, we had two formulas that were kind of added together. So this one, we're going to have division. But like the last problem, because we see two different trig functions, we're going to use a separate sum of difference formula for each one. Uh, a, a difference formula for the top one and a sum formula for the bottom one. What I'm also going to do when I plug those formulas in, I'll also change the tangent into sines and cosines, one of our strategies that we use for establishing the identity. Let's put in the identity for the top one. Now we have a, a difference, so we have to do the difference formula for cosine, which is cosine cosine plus sine sine, so we'll do that for this one. Cosine x cosine pi over 2 plus sine x sine pi over 2. So we do that. So we start with that one. And the bottom, we have a, a sum formula for sine, which is sine cosine plus cosine sine we'll use for that one. So this one we're going to do sine x, and we'll do cosine pi over 2 plus, and we're going to do cosine x sine pi over 2, and we're going to put in the identity for tangent sine over cosine. And now we, we have pi over 2, we need to put in the values for that. Again, we're going to look at a, little, a unit circle. I'll draw here. Pi over 2 would be this that point right there on the unit circle. That The coordinates there are 0, 1. So everywhere I see a cosine pi over 2, I'm going to put in a 0 because that's the x value. Sine pi over 2 will be a 1. So let's do that on the next step. We're going to do cosine x and then we said that cosine pi over 2 is the x value at pi over 2, that's 0. And then I have sine x and then times the sine pi over 2, that's the y value at pi over 2, it's 1. Let's put that in. On the bottom, sine x and then times, again, cosine pi over 2, same value as before, we have a 0 in there, plus cosine x. Sine pi over 2, it's still going to be 1. And what you'll notice with that one is this is going to cancel and that cancels because it's being multiplied by 0. So those are going to go away and notice all we have left is sine x, sine x over cosine. So we, we have sine over cosine is going to equal sine over cosine. So again on the test, uh, it doesn't matter if you make both these tangent or if you make them both sine over cosine like we have here. As long as you have both sides equal and the work that you show is correct, then that's all I'm looking for.